What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the all new 2022-23 NBA Hoops Hobby Box from Panini. $120 a box for now, uh, but that's about as low as you can get it at launch. First basketball review of the year and it's typically the first uh, full-fledged set where we see the new draft class in their NBA uniforms. So let's jump right into it guys. If you enjoy this kind of content and want to see more, consider dropping a like down below and subscribing if you haven't already. Uh, really helps with the uh, YouTube algorithm and uh, you know really helps us grow as a channel. So uh, 24 by 8 format, 192 cards total. Uh, a lot of different inserts in this which fall at one per pack. Um, but basically the parallel would sub for the insert as well. But uh, yeah, you guys can pause this real quick uh, just to see exactly what you can get. Uh, there's a lot of you know numbered cards um, for the bases. You can take all the way from 199 to one. Uh, you're looking at the green gravity uh, and gold and black and then for signatures they're gonna be um, you know much shorter printed than the other ones but yeah it's a lot to go through uh, there's definitely a lot of a lot of inserts but um, yeah I'm sure everyone's gonna be looking for that uh, one auto per box uh, pretty straightforward uh, format let me just do this yeah, we got a lot of packs, guys. But 24 packs is the name of the game. Let's split them into four here. Actually, just going to move this out of the way. And yeah, let's see, uh, let's see what we can get from this first one. All right, starting us off is a Gordon Hayward. So in terms of design, Dylan Brooks here. I'm just going to show you guys probably this first pack and then we're going to go through all the other ones much, much quicker. Uh, this is our first uh, rookie, Keegan Murray. So the design kind of, you know, it's pretty similar to uh, last year's design, kind of. Uh, it has, at least to me, some like new Donruss, like blocky influence to it. I don't know. At least that's what it looks like to me. Like it uh, at first glance but here's our first parallel uh, these are fairly common the uh, purples Jeremy Grant in his uh, Blazers uniform uh, let me put that one over there split all the rookies and then yeah we'll do a recap just to show you I guess uh, all the different cards we got and yeah time to fly through these I guess without really because they do like have some variety in terms of what you're looking at. So the best part of this obviously is the, to me, honestly, is the inserts. Besides the auto, besides the numbered cards, uh, you know, the base cards, everyone is used to those and people get so many base cards, don't know what to do with them at this point. But uh, yeah, here's our first, uh, first insert. So if you don't get an insert, you get a parallel or a numbered card. And I'm pretty sure the auto is going to be probably in the same slot, if not maybe one or two before. But in terms of rookies, the main ones that, you know, stand out really. Uh, so the first one, wait, hold on. The first card is always flipped for some reason. And Kendall Brown here. And Zion and another purple. Allen Iverson. Let's put this guy over here. Uh, rookies, let's not forget, because I started talking about them and then just um, completely forgot. But Paolo Bancaro, uh, Keegan Murray, you know, Benedict Matherin. I'm sure you guys are familiar with some of those names at this point. Um, here, I'll just actually do this. Uh, Jaden Ivey, Jabari Smith, um, Walker Kessler, and Tari Eason, even. Uh, there are some other rookies, too, of course, but. Uh, is that a gold in the back or just a regular insert foil? I don't know. We'll find out here in a sec. But um, yeah, actually, Shaden Sharp as well. Uh, I don't think I mentioned his name. But yeah, there's a lot of rookies, obviously. And um, those are just the ones that come to mind right now. But here is SGA and LaMelo Ball. Throwback. is Well, it can't be a gold because... the f Well... It would be numbered and it would be on the front because it's not a chrome card. But I think this is just a foil. Unless these are like way rarer than I think. Uh, it does look really cool and clean. 
and it has the, I guess, somewhat classic NBA hoops design. So, so far, coolest one, nothing too crazy. At least not that I know of at this point. But yeah, I really don't know how many numbered cards we're gonna get. None yet so far. Um, yeah, we learned from that, from the first few packs about that rotation. And here is Chet Holmgren. Unfortunately, it's gonna be out for a very long time. And Draymond and Peyton Watson here. And here's another class action, Dalen Terry. One of the inserts. Yeah, I didn't rip much hoops hobby last year. It was a lot of uh, retail going on. And if you are interested in retail, Target did drop uh, some blasters for 25 bucks on the website. So check it out if you want. But here is our next prime time or prime twine, actually. I did see this on the checklist and I was like, is there like any like patch cards or like mem cards? I don't think there are. So I was a little confused when I read prime twine. So it's just a, a print on the card. All right, a Brogdon. It's really weird when they, you know, obviously players get traded and then, uh, yeah, you'll see some some cards with players on their previous uniforms and then the logo of the team, which doesn't make sense. So might as well just put the older logo. At least that's how I see it. Might have another throwback here coming up, but Jabari Smith, the base, Jordan Poole. Oh, is that our auto coming up? Might want to hide that. There. So let's get one of these, put it right in the middle. I'll keep this in. It might be not, it might not be, but uh, here is DeMar DeRozan. Beast that he is, but obviously compared to Chrome cards, you guys can see, I guess, the damage or like how easily paper cards can get damaged. Um, you know, a lot of them look really cool, but that's the risk we take with, um, technically they're not paper, you know, it's still like whatever material they use, composite or cardboard or whatever. But yeah, you guys can already see the damage that this one has so no idea what that auto is going to be honestly there's a lot of nice vet and legend autos in this set so you know worst case uh, there's a solid chance you get one of those if you don't get a, a rook but here's zero gravity Dwayne Wade this one has a different like, I don't know what you want to call it. It looks less matte than the other ones. And, uh, wow, completely lost my train of thought there. Just ab absorbing this, uh, this new set, guys, as we go through all these packs. It's going to be a lot of packs, of course. But, yeah, autos. Uh, you do have a lot of <laughs> pets and legends. Uh, so yeah, you, you can get an auto, you know, Luca, Jason Tatum, Ja, uh, Larry Bird, Zion, uh, just as an example, uh, no Jimmy Butler auto, unfortunately. And I don't think Jimmy Butler has signed, uh, anything since like 2012. So if you want to get one of his autos, it has to be a card from, uh, back in the day. And of course you guys know exactly why I brought up Jimmy Butler there. This one feels thicker for some reason. Uh, yeah, pretty sure Miami fans are freaking out right now, but you know, deservedly so since the heat just broke the uh, The record for a perfect uh, free throw game which sits at 40 for 40 now guys It's actually pretty crazy. You know 39 for 39. I think it was the previous one um, Which was crazy on its own, but yeah, Jimmy Butler with Just looking at this shade and sharp <laughs> real quick uh, Yeah, Jimmy Butler with uh, I think it was 23, it's like one point short, like 23 for 23. Uh, he's one point short of uh, James Harden and Dirk's record. So pretty uh, beastie player if you ask me. Kevin Love. Oh, there we go. So if you do have uh, Redbacks, I was going to mention that, but I don't think I mentioned it. Might have. Um, yeah, the backs of the regular cards look like this, and it looks like the Redbacks are going to be at the very end. So if you see a base card at the very end, uh, just know that it is not a normal base card. 
probably has a red bag. Those are obviously, you know, less common than, than the base. Uh, I'd say even less than the, the purples. So maybe one or two per box. We'll check at the very end. Uh, we'll see how many of those we got. But yeah, we are getting a lot of uh, rookies. Obviously, at least one per uh, per pack is our second one, Andrew Nemhard and Benedict Matherin, class action. Actually going through these quicker than I expected. I still don't know if that's gonna be our auto. I don't wanna like slow roll it or anything or you know, spoil the fun at least. Vince Williams Jr. and Trevor Keels. Is this a, is this like what they call a gravity? I'm not too familiar with this one, but I mean, I don't think I've, I've seen these in like the, what is it called? The cell sheet or whatever. So I'll have to look it up. I'll put it up on the screen once I figure it out. But uh, yeah, I don't think these are actually that common. So it's Trevor Keels. At least it's a rookie. But I have yet to see a single numbered card. I might have missed it. You know, I'll see it at the very end. Worst case scenario. But uh, yeah, it's not looking good in terms of serial numbered cards so far. Christian Coloco. And then a John Morant. This is obviously not a base. You guys can see like the format is a little different. Let me just show you guys the back for this. So another insert. I think Ja has a lot of cards in the set for some reason. Uh, a lot of autos as well. So if you guys know the exact reason why they did it for this 2022-23 NBA hoop set, I would love to know. Did we skip a rookie? No. All right. Blake Wesley. And our foil is Jalen Williams. OKC out of 199. So for our first numbered card, I'm actually uh, pretty glad this is what we got. And running out of pile space. Let's just put the numbered cards there. Hopefully the remainder of these packs will have a numbered card each. Maybe the way I took them out of the, the box kind of contributed to why we're getting this uh, collation, if you want to call it that. Here is Musa Diabate and Hoopla, Luka Doncic. All these colorful inserts. But yeah, you guys obviously know that uh, Penny, you know, printed a lot of this product. So when you are trying to get one of these, you're obviously going for the auto. You know, I'm, I don't know. I don't personally know a lot of people that, uh, you know, get hoops to collect the set. There are, you know, true uh, hoops set collectors out there. Um, there's a lot of cards though. And yeah, for the price point, I'd say the ceiling is relatively high for the autos, like what you can get. Uh, of course, there are a lot of random autos here and there, but uh, Nikola Jovic here. All right, we've got another numbered card. This one is gonna be an insert with Jimmy Butler out of 999. So I was actually gonna talk about this, but I'm glad we, we got this card uh, at this point. Um, so this is like one of those uh, subsets within this set that, you know, was also kind of same as last year, but they do have like a sequence of, you know, first round, second round, all the way to the championship, like after the final, like a winning team. Um, and all the cards from, from this are numbered, uh, at least for this year, they start from being out of 2022 all the way down to 99. And uh, personally, I think they should go like way lower than 99. So I don't know why they just stopped at 99 for some reason, because especially for like uh, finals or like championship, I figured maybe they'd at least take it down to like 25 or 10, but yeah, 99 is, is still pretty high. <laughs> ben Simmons still doesn't want to take shots, I guess, as many shots as he should. But uh, this yellow is kind of strange, but here's Walker Kessler. And uh, yeah, Malachi Branham once again. And how many packs do we have left? One, two, three, four. If you made it this far into the video, uh, I do want to announce a giveaway, giving out a few singles here. Let me just bring them up on the screen one by one. So we have a Seth Curry uh, blue fast break. This one's going to be out of 50. 
And the one after that is going to be a Jaden Springer Auto. This one is a numbered out of 149, Rookie Auto uh, Phoenix from Chronicles. And we have another one from Chronicles we pulled on the channel, Evan Mobley, played some patches out of 149. Uh, I guess nice color match going on there for foil for what it's worth. And then after that, we have a PSA 9 LaMelo Ball 2020 Contenders Rookie of the Year. So I thought this one was pretty cool. Um, I initially got it uh, because I had no idea what I wanted to do with it. But uh, yeah, I guess now it's time to uh, you know add it to a giveaway. And last but not least, a tribute to uh, one of the older hoop sets. It's going to be Patrick Ewing uh, BGS 9.5 Gem Mint. Uh, I actually graded this a long, long time ago. And... Um, yeah, 1989 All-Star card, one of the uh, legends from back in the day. So all you have to do is um, one, like this video, two, be subscribed to the channel, and three, comment down below, hashtag basketball cards, and let us know which rookie you'll be collecting this season. Uh, we'll run the draw for all those cards uh, in about a week or so from today, so stick around for that, and uh, yeah, good luck, everyone. So let's continue with the last four packs. I really hope that's... That is the auto and that it is a good one and we're not just getting trolled. But here's Kelly Oubre. That base pile looking mighty tall. Christian Brown. And Jabari Smith. Once again, this is one of those uh, studio shots. It honestly looks like, a, I don't know, like a high school gym or something. Uh, Vince Williams Jr. That's probably going to be a red back. Let's flip it around and take a look. That is correct. So the reds are... Always going to be at the very end, guys. Uh, where did we put our other red? It's over there. So let's just put that one over there. Looking like two per box. You might get more. You might get less. But here we go. I wonder why the first two are always flipped. I don't think there's anything like special about them. It's just maybe how it's package. AJ Griffin there. Trey Mann, Usman Jang, and Zero Gravity, Joel Embiid. Two packs left. Grace and Allen. I keep wanting to just like flip these cards, but uh, Russell Westbrook right there. CP3, Benedict Matherin, and Bass. And Jason Tatum. All right, so this one was out of 2022. Guys, it's crazy how high numbered these cards are. Like, really, really wish. Um, yeah, I mean, at least I wish the ceiling for these would go, like, way lower and maybe start way lower. But I totally understand why they do this because, you know, the set is 2022 to 23. So, uh, nice Jason Tatum. I'm going to add this one to uh, my little Jason Tatum collection. But, yeah, I really want to see what these guys are going to do against... Uh, the Nets, you know, the Nets had a ugly start to the season and they finally figured things out, I guess. Um, but yeah, KD is out. So, I mean, initially I was like, you know, when uh, the Nets play Boston tomorrow, I think uh, that was going to be like their real test. And here's Paolo Bancaro uh, base. But yeah, now that KD is out, uh, I don't know if we can actually use that as a true test for um, for the Nets anymore. But yeah, it's going to be a pretty hype game. Jalen Williams once again. And all right, guys, this has to be the auto. Hopefully we don't get trolled here, but I'm trying to see. All right, that's the NBA logo. Uh, no idea. BBL. All right, Bradley Beal. So initially, for some reason, I don't know why I thought this was an on-card. I was about to get super excited, but... Uh, all right, hot signatures. So this is one of those scenarios where, you know, what I was talking about earlier, like if you don't get uh, rookie auto or whatever, like there is a chance you are going to get a pretty good vet. So, uh, yeah, I'm actually not too, not too disappointed. You know, I didn't have high expectations for this product uh, whatsoever. So it is not numbered. You know, it would have been slightly better if it was. But let's, uh, let me, let me not show you guys the base here. Uh, and I don't think we had any extra reds because obviously we figured out that they are at the very end. So let me show you the two red backs that we got as part of the uh, recap. So Vince Williams Jr. and Kevin Love. That's what they look like compared to the regular back right there. 
And you are getting three, I guess, three purples per box. These are not numbered, but they are uh, kind of common. Uh, maybe not going to do a recap of all the rookies. I'll insert over there. But as you guys can see, you're getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, uh, 30. And I think some of those were inserts. So per box, uh, you're probably not going to get the entire you know rookie class, but you might get close. Uh, I'd say this one was the most interesting one out of the box, just because you know I'm not really used to seeing this one. Uh, watch it be like SSP, and then after this, I realized that it's you know pretty crazy. But uh, throwback, Demar Derozan and Lamelo Ball, and we did get one, two, three numbered cards per box. I was expecting maybe to get slightly more, but here is a out of 9.99, uh, and then 2022. And probably, I want to say, I don't know, maybe in contention with that Beal Auto. Uh, this is probably the best card we had in the entire box. Uh, it is out of 199, so it is what it is. But it's, it, it is a silver uh, rookie hoops foil. So, not a bad product for the price point. Uh, could it be better? Sure. Could it be cheaper? Sure. Uh, should we really expect much? Um, not really. It is hoops after all, and it's a very basic um paper set uh the design has you know slightly different vibe this year but typically i mean it, it does the job for like a, a hoops design uh the auto checklist uh just want to kind of repeat it does have plenty of upside uh which is nice and uh at this point you you get into buying one of these you know just for the autos and at that point you might as well just either buy the autos outright like buying singles because my personal opinion that's always the way to go uh but I mean, it's it's up to you. Do you really want to take the chance? Uh, to some people, the thrill of the rip is where it's at, and you know, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just be smart about everything, and that's we'll just leave it at that. But hopefully, you guys found this video helpful at least um, if you're on the fence of getting one of these or not. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, stick around for more content, breaks, and uh, giveaways. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.